Well, if you watch my video on uh, rebuilding the little uh, lab amplifier, I put a, a newer version in it and it took the gain from 15 dB to 30 dB and it was in one step instead of a two step. So um, I pulled out an old amplifier that was uh, definitely a prototype from an R&D lab. Somebody was trying something out and uh, this is it. Uh, this is it here. And I got curious of what the uh, circuit looked like, so I, I traced it out. Uh, it's all uh, surface mount parts, and the two amplifiers are just mimics. Uh, there's one here, and there's one here. So it's a two-stage, and only gave 15 dB of gain. The other was a one-stage, gave 30 dB of gain. So, you know, just technology has moved on. I'm not sure how old, how old this was. Uh, the back is just ground plane, and so everything is basically a uh, microstrip on top. And not that that really matters too much in the circuit. I think it's all a lumped element. Um, so uh, I did, I did trace it out. I'm going to uh, apologize for for my handwriting here. I was going to draw it up nice and pretty for the video, and then I got bored. So <laughs> this is what you get. Um, so I'll explain the circuit first, and then we'll look at it uh, close up. So this is the input connector. It goes through a pad, a Pi network pad. And then it goes through a capacitor, and the guy must have decided that capacitor wasn't big enough, so he piggybacked a capacitor on top of it. Um, so it was a little ceramic capacitor, and he piggybacked an electrolytic on top, I think a one, one microfarad, uh, to get more low frequency probably out of it. Then it goes through the Mimic. Mimic are little four-pin devices. They have two grounds, and then they have an in and an out. And you, you bias them, there's no voltage pin on them, you bias them externally. So this is the bias network. There's a, a 75 ohm network to a couple bypass capacitors, and then a, a big electrolytic capacitor, and then an inductor to, to some uh, plus 10 voltage. Um, so it's interesting what they had here. They had a 75 ohm with a 75 in parallel, and then a 75 ohm with a 75 ohm in parallel. So four 75s add up to 75. So he had a 75 ohm pull up, uh, up, and uh, then again it went through a capacitor, but that wasn't enough. So we piggybacked one on top of it. And then it went to stage two, and the way I drew them here is you can just look at that. Stage one and stage two are exactly the same. Uh, the same pad, the same capacitors, the same mimic, the same biasing network, uh, the same uh, piggyback thing. The only difference uh, on the output is there's an additional pad, and this time it's discrete. It, um, I'll show you these. These are actually a monolithic chip that's a, that's a, a pad, but these are discrete parts, 220 ohms, 220 ohms and a 24, so uh, that goes to the out. So it's a very, 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 very classic circuit. Nothing special going on. He was just playing with some values here, um, you know, playing with some pads on the input of this thing. Definitely, he needed to change the capacitance. Uh, wasn't wasn't low enough. Wasn't enough capacitance, and uh, looked like this hadn't been changed. So he was playing with this. So let's get out a, a macro lens here and see if we can't see things. Okay, uh, so this is the uh, this is the input connector. Is that a good thing to point with? Not really. Um, here, let me use a nice bright orange wire. That will probably be better on camera. Yeah, that's better on camera. Okay, so the input comes here, and right here, it's hard to see, but that is a pad. It's like an 0603 pad or something like that. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, 0603, I, th I think. Anyway, there's a Pi network here um, that comes in, and then it goes through this capacitor, which is the stack capacitor, this one underneath. And then it comes down here and goes into the first mimic. So this is the first, uh, get the focus right here. Here's the first mimic. And uh, it's ground on this side and in and out. And then 75, 75, 75, 75. And then it goes up to um, capacitor, capacitor to ground. And then there's a wire underneath that takes you over to here. 
And then there's an, a, a, a big capacitor, 10 microfarads with an inductor to plus V. So that's how it gets its power. All right, so back down to here, refocus. All right, so the output of this amplifier then goes through a capacitor with a capacitor on top, goes into the, another a Pi network, this time the little tiny one again, just as the input for the first one. It goes through a capacitor on top of a capacitor into the second mimic. Semic second mimic is 75, 75, 75, 75, so 75 total. And then again to two capacitors to ground and to an inductor and a 10 microfarad. And then here's the output pad, uh, 220, 24, 220. It's actually 23.7. And then uh, it goes out. So yeah, so that's how you do a kind of lumped element, but being careful, a little bit of strip line or a micro strip. So this is about the right width for a 50 ohm on a, a 62 mil board. Uh, so they definitely paid attention to impedance here. Um, the rest of it is all just lumped element. And I don't think there's really any impedance stuff going on. Um, and then again, everything is uh, uh, ground on the back, a lot of stitched vias. So attention to, to making sure that there's a nice microwave uh, or RF ground. So lots of, lots of stitching wherever there's ground, it gets stitched down. And things are kind of isolated, right? There's kind of a ground thing here to isolate the trace. So the, the path comes through here, comes through here and out. So, you know, some attention to detail that things wouldn't leak off. Like I said, this board looks like it's a prototype board because there's a whole bunch of stuff that's not being used. So maybe it was from some other project or maybe it's kind of a generic board they use to prototype things. But uh, yeah, it looks, uh, looks all pretty generic. Anyway, nothing going on here. Nothing to see here.